When Joe Biden was picked as Obama's running mate, it was revealed that he had survived two brain aneurysms in the late 1980s. The odds of that diagnosis certainly are not encouraging. But a recent investment made here in Indianapolis aims to improve the surgical outcomes. Oh, yes. Emotional moments before life-saving brain surgery for 48-year-old Deb Edgecombe of Indianapolis. <laughs> brain aneurysm procedures are always tricky. It's a big deal. But Dr. Troy Painter says applying fluorescence technology makes it safer. It's definitely an advancement in improving patient safety and outcomes. The neurological surgeon shows the problem, a bubble or a pouch full of blood that forms on the outside of an artery. And as that pulsation beats against the opposite wall over time, it weakens it and forms that bubble. That's how you get an aneurysm. You can have an aneurysm in your head for years and you would never know it's there. However, on any given day, that bubble can burst. And when that happens, it becomes a life-threatening problem. Nearly half of the patients do not survive it. I started worrying about it, it bursting. At Methodist Hospital, surgeons opened Deb's skull and aimed to stop the blood flow through the aneurysm. But the goal is to place a metal clip right across the base of it, across here, and preserve all the branches. But there is a risk that a kink will result in a nearby artery, increasing the risk of stroke. But Methodist is one of the few hospitals in the nation now with technology to see and correct blood flow issues while in surgery. And you can make sure that all the branches you're looking at are glowing. And if they are, then you know they're getting flow through them, and that's a uh, a new level of safety at surgery that we never had before. With this technology, make sure that there was nothing bleeding rather than close me up and find a bleed later and then have to open me up again to fix it. So it seemed like a good idea to me. I'd much rather do it once than twice. And Deb is doing well. She knows she was lucky. Her aneurysm was found during a CAT scan that was ordered because she had sinus problems. Now, risk factors for brain aneurysms are female high blood pressure, and smokers. Keep in mind the symptoms, a sudden onset of the worst headache of your life. That's the Health Beat Today. Back to you, John. The mystery surrounding the